Hey, what's up? Mirai here, and in this video, I'm going to be covering the basics of multiboxing Diablo 3 with IS Boxer. This video assumes you've already created your character set and are ready to launch your team. As always, I recommend having a look at the quick start guide in the IS Boxer wiki so that you can familiarize yourself with some of the content that I'm going to be covering. Now, the very first time that you launch your character set, you'll have to wait for your cache folders to copy. You're not seeing it happen in this video because I've already gone through the process, but this is a necessary step in multiboxing Diablo 3, and the time it takes this process to complete is entirely dependent on your system and its hardware. While the cache folders are being copied, it may seem like the launch process has stopped responding, but it's most likely just doing what it's supposed to be doing in the background. Again, this process only happens the very first time that you launch your Diablo 3 character set. Okay, so when you're on the login screen, you'll want to disable your key maps when entering in any information so that they don't interfere. And when you first log into your accounts, you'll need to enter the correct Battle.net email address. But if you check the Remember Account Name box, then ISBoxer will remember your account information each time you load up your character set. On the hero selection screen is when I invite all of my characters into a party. And I've made this a simple process by having added them to my friends list via their battle tags. A few clicks and everyone's invited. Now, once you're in game, you'll want to ensure that both key maps and repeater are enabled. At the moment, you technically don't have any mapped keys set up specifically for your team, but ensuring that key maps are enabled when you're playing is a good habit to fall into. The biggest problem that Diablo 3 multiboxers are going to encounter is keeping their characters in sync with each other. The game itself uses a click to move style for moving around, and if you are constantly clicking every time you want to move to the next point, you're going to easily fall out of sync. I find that it helps to click and hold the left mouse button and then just drag it along the path that you'd like to move to. Besides that, there are a few other things to keep in mind when trying to stay in sync. First and foremost, Try to keep both your movement speed and attack speed of your characters as close as possible. And when you're in combat, hold the shift key down so that your team stays in place when they're attacking. If you don't hold the shift key down while attacking and you continue to click on the enemies to use your abilities, you will quickly find your team being split up. Now perhaps the biggest culprit that causes sync issues for players would be video settings, and you'll want each game client to be using the same video settings. This includes display, resolution, and even frame rates. However, for more control, you want to set your frame rates using IS Boxer rather than the in-game settings. It's best to try to keep your foreground and background frame rates as close to each other as you can. And as you've seen throughout this video, I've got mine locked at 30 frames per second in each window. As for your resolution and display settings, it depends on what you're trying to accomplish because Diablo 3 technically has a minimum resolution of 800 by 600. So if your regions in your window layout are smaller than this, you're most likely going to run into some slight distortion. To counter this, you want to change your display mode to windowed full screen, and Iceboxer will work its magic to ensure that everything renders correctly while using the smaller resolution. Regardless, if you are having trouble keeping your mouse cursors in sync with each other, I suggest enabling instant swapping in your window layout. All right, so you've learned about falling out of sync, but what about bringing your characters back in sync once they're split up? Well, falling out of sync is inevitable, and it's something that you're going to have to deal with throughout the entire game. During the initial learning process of resyncing your characters, you're most likely going to be yelling obscenities at your computer's monitor, but I assure you that after some time, you get the hang of bringing your team back together. The best way to go about this is to use the geometry of the game world to assist in resyncing your team. Moving them into a corner or into an object should work just fine, but sometimes certain characters do end up running far off into the distance. It would be nice if I could just tell players to press their follow button when they fall out of sync, but because there is no follow in Diablo 3, you'll have to figure out what works best for you in each situation. Go ahead and check out the Diablo 3 Quick Start Guide for a few other methods relating to resyncing your characters, and I would also suggest browsing through the Diablo 3 subforum on the Iceboxer forum to see what other players are doing to combat this problem. And that covers the Diablo 3 basic gameplay video. 
For any further questions, comments, or concerns, please visit the ISBoxer forum or the live chat.